Hi, everybody. Welcome to our program. This is English Digest. Hi, I'm Stephanie. We're talking about animals in today's program. There are lots of them that share the earth with us. Sometimes we even take them home to have as pets. Uh huh. And I guess the most common animals that are pets these days are either cats or dogs.、Mm -hmm. You're not much of a cat fan, are you? I don't like cats at all. You don't like cats, okay?、No. I grew up、uh, with a cat、uh -huh. and also a couple of dogs, so I could have either one. But today we're going to be talking about a special kind of dog called a beagle. A beagle, okay?、Mm -hmm. Have you ever had a beagle before? No, our family never had a beagle. We had an Irish Springer Spaniel. We had a cocker spaniel that's much smaller. What else did we have? We had a poodle at one point, but、Ooh. it was a big poodle, you know, a rather large one, and. That was my mom's choice. We didn't have that dog for long, but we also had a cat. It's not that I don't like all cats; I just don't think they're very friendly, and I'm also allergic to them. But、uh, the dog we're talking about today is a beagle. It's a breed, a type of、uh, dog that you can get. And they're actually good dogs. If you have kids, they're very friendly, and also. If you live in Taiwan, it might be a good dog because their hair isn't so long. They're probably a little cooler in the warm weather here, and you won't have so much dog hair around the house if you let them live inside. And I'm sure they're very social. Yeah. But、uh, they do have、uh, the habit of barking in a strange way, which we'll get to later <laughs> on in our lesson. So let's find out what this is all about. Let's find out about beagles. Let's read our article now from top to bottom. With their brown, black, and white fur and big, flat ears, beagles are easy to spot. These clever, faithful dogs were first bred to be hunting hounds for royalty in the UK. King Henry the Seventh and Queen Elizabeth the First both kept packs of beagles for hunting. Today, while they're less frequently used for hunting, they still make great pets or working dogs. One common modern use of beagles occurs at airports. With their powerful noses, they can sniff out drugs or bombs hidden in people's luggage. They're so good at finding things that they are even compared to X-ray machines. In addition to having such a great sense of smell, beagles are also small enough to move easily through crowds. What's more, they learn commands quickly. All these features make them excellent at the jobs they're employed to fulfill. Beagles are also common pets. Though the things that once made them ideal hunting dogs don't necessarily make them good pets, beagles are athletic and energetic, and need to spend lots of time outside every day. Because they were bred to work, they need a good amount of exercise and will look for something to do if they aren't kept occupied. If they get bored, they will destroy things or try to escape from wherever they are kept, sometimes by digging holes under garden fences. Finally. Beagles are known for their baying, a distinctive loud howl that many people find very annoying. Beagles aren't for everyone. However, for people who have the space and energy to keep up with them, there's nothing like this lovable brown dog. Well, after hearing that、uh, read out loud, I'm thinking maybe this is a dog that you definitely need to have in your backyard. Because if he's in your house, oh, he could ruin some stuff. But、uh, they are awfully cute. I didn't know that they were so active. I've never really had any friends with beagles, so I, I don't know much about them. I seem to have known a couple, but、yeah. I can't remember when I was a kid. But uh, yeah, uh, you don't see a lot of people with beagles here in Taipei、no. because I guess they need to be outside and stuff. So they're probably more appropriate for people in the center and south of Taiwan who live in the country. Yeah. So they can get out and run around and be dogs. People in Taipei, of course, like small dogs, like usually like Chihuahuas or poodles or whatever. But I've seen a lot of、um, German. Shepherds, black labs, golden retrievers, which I think are too big to live in our small apartments. But that's just my opinion. Well, you get what you pay for. You got to take those dogs out for walks, or they're going to destroy your apartment, as we're going to find out here. And the title is for work or for play.、Uh -huh. Beagles can't be beat. So that just basically means that beagles are very good at working, and they like to play a lot. So let's、uh, look at the first paragraph here. It says, "With their brown, black." And white fur and big flat ears, beagles are easy to spot. 
that. Yes, this is a breed of dog that is easy to recognize. If you see it, it's brown and it's got black and white、mm -hmm. with those big flat ears. Ah, you're gonna know that is a beagle. Yeah, they're pretty cute, especially their ears. I think their ears are adorable. Something's easy to spot. It's got something unique about it, so that you don't miss it if you're looking around a crowd, for example. They're clever, so they're smart dogs. We like that. They're faithful. If you're faithful, I mean, you're talking about an animal, especially. It just means this is a very loyal dog. It will always protect you. And that would be a good dog to have. Maybe if you are a woman living alone, you might want a beagle. They make a lot of noise, so that would help. Your neighbors would know perhaps you were in trouble if they heard that dog. We talked about how breed is the type of dog that it is, but here. Bred is the past tense of the verb to breed, which just means for animals and plants, you're raising offspring. You're producing more of that type of dog or plant. Dogs breed together. Sometimes they'll take different breeds and have little baby puppies together, which is always interesting. And some people actually have a job breeding very expensive types of dogs that they take to you know these dog shows and win big prizes. My sister and her husband, I think it's mostly because of her husband, they bought a very expensive dog, and he was bred by somebody in their neighborhood. But they paid like almost a thousand U.S. dollars for the dog. Wow, that's incredible that people would be willing to pay so much money. When I was a kid, my father bought a purebred、oh, Basenji. There you I go. I don't know if you know what that is.、Uh -uh. It's an Egyptian dog that's got a curly tail and it doesn't bark.、Mm. He was、uh, basically a disaster area. Okay, he was never <laughs> fully house trained,、Ooh. and、uh, he was getting sick all the time. So I said, "No way! I'm never going to buy a purebred dog again because they get." Sick. They're nothing but trouble. Get the mutts. Go down to your animal shelter. They've got some fine dogs down there. But in any case, if you do get yourself a beagle, though, you're probably going to pay some money for it. But again, in the UK, back in the day,、yeah. they were bred specifically to be hunting hounds. Hound here is just another word for dog. There are all sorts of words for dogs.、Mm -hmm. I guess a hound in this particular case refers to the size of its snout. Good but, smell, right? So they're really useful if. If you're hunting. Mm -hmm. Right, they get a good sense of smell,、mm. and of course they're good for hunting. Indeed, so they're hunting hounds, and they were, of course, for the royalty, the kings and the queens. Right, back then, that's what they used to do for you know pleasure in their free time when they weren't you know worried about things that were going on in their kingdom, the kings and the queens, and even the aristocracy who really never had to work. People, life was pretty good for the rich folks back then. They would go out and hunt, and they'd take the dogs with them to track down. Maybe they were hunting foxes or deer. They would take these dogs with them to help them find the animal they're hunting, and also to bring it back if they manage to shoot that animal and kill it, what have you. Yeah, a friend of mine、uh, used to hunt. What are they called? Pheasants, I guess. Yeah. And of course, you use a shotgun, and then the pheasant falls out of the sky,、yeah. and then the dog goes and brings the pheasant back. I think they had a black Labrador or something like that. But in any case, these were hunting dogs for kings and queens in the UK. For example, King Henry the Seventh and Queen Elizabeth the First. They both had packs of beagles for hunting. A pack here is just a group of dogs. That's、mm -hmm. the measure word we use for dogs, like a herd of cattle, a school of fish, a pack of wolves, or a pack of dogs. A pack of cigarettes. We use that as well, or a pack of gum. If you buy some gum that has several different pieces in it, either a stick of gum, that's a pack of gum. So yeah, it's a measure word, but we can use it with other things besides just the dog. So today, while they're less frequently used for hunting, most people don't go out hunting with beagles these days. They still make great pets or working dogs. So we're going to find out why that is. We're going to move into the next paragraph.、It、says one common modern use of beagles occurs at airports. Now 
My experience has been that I usually see German shepherds being used in the airports to sniff out drugs. I haven't seen any beagles yet. What about you, Tom? I saw a beagle at the San Francisco airport, and I heard a story、Ooh. about a friend of mine. His brother came to visit in Taiwan here,、uh-huh. and he wanted to take back some beetle nut as a souvenir. You can't do that. No, it's fresh. You're not supposed to do、oh. that. So when he got to the airport, maybe Minneapolis or something, the dog sniffed it out. You're and, kidding. Yep, the dog just kind of sat down next to his、uh, suitcase, and they knew something was up. Yeah. The dog found something. What do you got in there? You got drugs or something there, buddy? No, it's just a beetle nut. Oh, you can't bring that in. It's fresh. So yeah, if you're trying to bring beetle nut to the U.S., you can't do it. The dogs、oh, will find it. I had no idea. Well,、uh, they have really powerful noses, so they can sniff out drugs or bombs. Oh, we definitely need good dogs for that. Sniff out these things, drugs or bombs, hidden in people's luggage. So it doesn't matter that maybe you've wrapped up something very carefully in your suitcase. If there's a dog that's sniffing around, they'll find it. They'll be able to tell the cops that there's something illegal going on in someone's suitcase or luggage. If you sniff, we use this word to talk about taking in some sort of smell. So. I'm sniffing. We also call that sound a sniff, or maybe someone's crying. You know how your nose runs when you cry.、Mm. They can sniff up that, you know, liquid that's coming out of their nose. Well, they can sniff out things like drugs and bombs that people can't. So I'm grateful for these really clever beagles. Before we find out what else they're good at, because they have more talents than just that. We're gonna listen quickly to our Chinese teacher. 大家好，欢迎收听 English Digest。我是哈利。今天我们要阅读的文章是 Unit One for Work or for Play. Beagles can't be beat. 不晓得大家有没有看过一种狗叫做米格鲁。米格鲁通常体型较小，开朗且亲近人，非常惹人怜爱。但你知道米格鲁除了当宠物以外，还有其他令人意想不到的才能吗？我们看到第一段的第二句 ，These clever, faithful dogs were first bred to be hunting hunts for royalty in the UK. 这些聪明忠实的狗最初是作为英国皇室狩猎的猎犬而饲养。形容词 faithful 意思是忠实的、忠诚的，相当于 loyal, l o y a l. Be faithful or be loyal to somebody 是指对某人忠诚。例如 ，soldiers are required to be faithful to their countries. 士兵被要求对其国家忠诚。我们看到这句有一个动词 breed， 繁殖、饲养的意思。要注意此动词的三态变化是 breed, bred, bred, breed, b r e e d, bred, b r e d, bred. 我们来造一个句子。I'm strongly opposed to people breeding dogs for sale. 我强烈反对人们繁殖狗来贩售。Breed 也可以做名词用，意思是品种、类型。例如 ，A husky is a breed of large dog, common in northern parts of the world. 哈士奇是世界北部常见的一种大型犬。第二段说明米格鲁在我们社会中能提供很多协助。我们看到第二段的第二句 ，With their powerful noses. They can sniff out drugs or bombs hidden in people's luggage. 凭着强大的鼻子，他们可以嗅出藏在人们行李中的毒品或炸弹。动词 sniff 有嗅、闻的意思。片语 sniff something out 是嗅出的意思。The sniffer dog sniffed out a pork product in a tourist's luggage, and he was heavily fined. 检疫犬闻出一名游客的行李中有猪肉产品。该游客被重重罚款。Sniff 也可以做名词用，例如 ，Before you buy this bottle of perfume, take a sniff of it to see if you like its scent. 在你买这瓶香水前，闻一下是不是你喜欢的香味。We're going to take a quick break. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. OK, 
Okay, let's continue with our lesson again. We're talking about beagles. They're great work dogs,、mm. and they're great hunting dogs. People don't really use them so much for hunting anymore, but、uh, they are still useful at airports. They can sniff out drugs or bombs that people try to sneak into the country.、Mm. They're so good at finding things that they are even compared to X-ray machines. Which are good, of course, for finding metal. If you're trying to take a、mm -hmm. gun on a plane or something, the X-ray machine will find it. Unfortunately, the X-ray machines always find my belt buckle,、oh. so I've always got to take off my belt every time I go through the metal detector. Such a hassle. Yep. But、uh, yes, for metal, of course, you use the X-ray machines. But for other stuff like a fresh fruit or betel、mm -hmm. nut or drugs, these dogs can find those things because they have excellent smell. They have an excellent sense of smell. The other day in the newspaper, I saw someone from China trying to bring in a fish they'd packed in ice、Ooh. that was taken away from them.、Oh, anyway,、no. guys, you can't bring in that fresh stuff; it's always going to be taken. So, in addition to having such a great sense of smell, and here we'll say、uh, our senses are. Eyesight, our vision, the sense of touch, the sense of hearing—those are our senses. Here's the sense of smell. Beagles are also small enough to move easily through crowds. I would consider them sort of a mid-sized dog, small to middle-sized. They're not very big, and I can see how being small would help them, you know, dash in and out of、uh, crowded places, especially airports. Mm -hmm, exactly. So yes, there are lots of people in airports.、Mm -hmm. So of course the dogs can move and check out those suitcases. And what's more, or in addition, also they learn commands quickly. So you can train them、huh. rather quickly. A command is when you tell a dog to do something: sit, shake paws, go fetch the stick. Those are commands.、Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's usually just a word like fetch, sit, roll over. If they're fun, you teach them that too. So yeah, a command. Sometimes we use command to talk about、uh, the military. You know, the military have officers who are in charge of just the regular soldiers, and they will issue commands or give commands. You don't have a choice; you must obey. And a command is like that with an animal. Typically, you just teach them those one or two word phrases and. They can understand you. I thought one of the funny things when I got to Taiwan was, oh, the dogs here understand Chinese. <laughs> Your dog、yeah. will understand any language that you speak to it. My sister has that purebred dog. He's very smart, and he understands things like bye bye. Car, and if he hears those words, he dashes outside because he wants to go. Well, that's nothing. Of course, our pet、uh, Basenji, of course,、uh, could discuss、uh, German philosophy. We、really? used to talk with Nietzsche all about、uh, the、and、meaning of life and stuff. And you understand dog language?、Uh, huh? Yeah. Well, he could actually enunciate words.、Uh, you know, just like <laughs> well, I'm kidding, of course. Very good. But we do say that dogs are quite smart, and、yeah. I'm sure beagles are smart as well because they can learn commands, they can be trained. All these features make them excellent at the jobs they're、mm -hmm. employed to full. Fulfill. So yes, they need to fulfill a job. That just means you do all the duties that you're required to do. You complete something. You finish the task. Fulfill, right?、Uh, fulfillment, of course, is the noun. You might,、uh, you know, convert to Buddhism, for example, for religious fulfillment, or to fulfill your desire in life, or whatever. Or maybe someone promised you they'd do something. You want them to fulfill their promise, or maybe you just want to fulfill yourself, which means you look around for things that make you happy, give you satisfaction. Here, they're meant to carry out the jobs that they've been hired or trained. Probably trained here, trained to do. So beagles are also common pets, though the things that once made them ideal hunting dogs. Don't necessarily make them good pets. Think about it. We had a hunting dog. Our Irish Springer Spaniel had been trained from long ago to go hunting and fetch things, bring things back. So in the morning, he lived in the backyard of our house because he needed to run and play. Every morning, we would open the back door, and he usually had a dead bird laying there for us, or maybe a dead squirrel. Or how generous! Yeah, he'd killed them, and he thought maybe we would want to eat some of it. 
Mm, that dogs do that. I understand cats do that as well,、yeah. and even crows I've heard can do that. If you、really? feed crows, they'll bring presents for you. <laughs> but that's another subject. But yes, indeed, they are common pets, but that does not mean they are necessarily good pets. Beagles are athletic and energetic and need to spend lots of time outside every day.、Mm. So if you have a busy schedule and you're working all day long and nobody's at home,、oh. that's probably not a good choice because、no. beagles need to be taken. Out for walks, maybe two or three times a day. They're also energetic. They've got a lot of energy. Golden retrievers are that way.、Yeah. Every, everybody who has a golden retriever tells me, "Oh yes, they can never settle down. They just get so excited <laughs> and they just keep jumping around and stuff like that." And beagles, I guess, are no exception. They are energetic. They're maybe hyper. Yeah, definitely. So because they were bred or trained to work. They need a good amount of exercise, and will look for something to do if they aren't kept occupied. This is a dangerous pet to have in your house while you're not home. He might start chewing up furniture. We had one dog that would chew the carpet. You need to make sure that your pet is good indoors alone. Some of them really do need more activity. So if they get bored, which these beagles usually do if no one's home to play with them. They will destroy things or try to escape from wherever they are kept, and they're smart. Listen to this thing they might do: they might dig a hole underneath your fence out there in the garden and escape that way.、Hmm. They don't like fences either. I've noticed dogs like to be free, but if you don't have a fence around your backyard, they're going to run away to find some playmates, some other dogs they can play with if they can find them. Yeah, we had a dog that liked to dig holes in the ground,、yeah. but not necessarily to go under fences. I think it's the same thing. He was just active and needed to do something,、oh, yeah. needed to exercise those paws. And finally, beagles are known for their baying,、hmm. a distinctive loud howl that many people find very annoying. Now, when I was、uh, preparing the lesson for today, I came across this word baying、uh-huh. because I guess this is the only place we use this word to describe the character. Characteristic howl of a beagle. I can't、uh, think of any other situation in which we would use this word "bay" to bay. Yeah, sometimes they use it with that fake creature called the werewolf. You know how、okay. a person turns into a wolf. He bays at the moon. Yeah, we don't use it very much, do we? But、mm. it is a really irritating. Loud sound that just goes on and on, ooh, like that. So if you don't like that sort of sound and you know your neighbors aren't going to appreciate it, you might try avoiding this kind of dog and get something else. Yes, it's distinctive, which means you can identify it right away.、Totally. Like bird calls are distinctive. Oh, that's the song of the Taiwan blue magpie. There, I can tell. It's distinctive. It's、mm-hmm. very characteristic. And howl here, I should mention, is the, the noun here, but it also can be a verb. The dog will howl at night, and of course, some people hear that, especially if you live in an apartment building. Oh, there's their dog howling again.、Oh. How annoying! We can't fall asleep. Annoying just means bothersome. Yeah, it's bugging you. We had someone in my building that had a large dog. It wasn't a beagle, but oh, he was so unhappy. He was always howling. <sighs> Thank goodness they moved. So beagles aren't for everyone, guys. However, for people who have the space and energy to keep up with them, there's nothing like this lovable brown dog. Did you mention Snoopy? Yeah, Snoopy. You know the cartoon、yeah. Charlie Brown, Snoopy. He's supposed to be a beagle,、uh-huh. even though he's the wrong color. He's all white with black ears.、Uh-huh. He's supposed to be brown and white and black. But he is a beagle, and he's pretty smart. Right now, we're going to listen to someone else who's pretty smart. That's our Chinese teacher. 米格鲁不但有灵敏的嗅觉，也容易训练。我们接着看到第二段的倒数第二句。What's more. They learn commands quickly. 此外，他们能很快地学会指令。What's more 是此外、再者的意思，相当于 in addition, additionally, besides, moreover, 或是 furthermore. 例如 ，We chose to live in this area because it is quiet here. Additionally, we can be closer to nature. 我们选择住在此地区，因为它远离城市。此外，我们可以更接近自然。这句有一个名词 command， 意思是命令、指挥的意思。
也有掌握、精通的意思。例如 ，If you want to be a diplomat, it is necessary to have a good command of English. 如果你想当外交官，精通英文是必须的。另外 ，command 也可当动词用。Command somebody to do something 就是命令某人去做某事的意思。例如 ，The general commanded his troops to retreat. 将军命令其军队撤退。文章的第三段提到要饲养米格鲁当宠物需要注意的事情。我们看到这一段的第二句 ，Beagles are athletic and energetic and need to spend lots of time outside every day. 米格鲁行动敏捷且精力旺盛。每天需要在户外花许多时间。形容词 energetic 意思是精力充沛的。其他有类似意思的形容词有 dynamic, d y n a m i c， 有活力的，不断变化的。We are looking for someone positive and dynamic to fill the position of public relations consultant. 我们正在寻找积极、有活力的人来担任公关顾问的职位。Vigorous, v i g o r o u s, 精力充沛的，有活力的。Even though my grandpa is 85 years old, he still takes a vigorous walk in the park every morning. 虽然我爷爷已经八十五岁了，但他每天早上依然很有活力的在公园散步。我们接着看到第三段的第三句有一个片语 ，a good amount of, a 加上 good, large, great, considerable. 再加上 amount of 是指大量的，少量的则是 a small or tiny amount of。要注意的是 ，amount 后常搭配不可数名词。例如 ，Tim was so thirsty that he drank a large amount of water。提姆口很渴，喝下了大量的水。A large or great number of 也可以指大量的，但 number 后面搭配复数名词。例如 ，Taipei 101 attracts a large number of tourists every year. Taipei 101每年吸引了大量的游客。以上就是今天的课程，谢谢大家收听。Okay, that's all the time we have for today. Thank you so much for joining us, and please join us again next time for another edition of our program. From all of us here at English Digest, I'm Tom. I'm Stephanie. Goodbye. Bye.